show you how to use these inks or daubers in a real fun way. So I am going to start out with the paper that I used. This is the paper. This is what we're going to do. And we're going to do maybe a few more things because this is all playtime. This is experimenting, playing, letting loose, just doing whatever comes to mind. Okay, and we're just going to use these few little items. So I have the daubers and I have some walnut drawing ink and an ink pen and an old card that doesn't work anymore for a scraper and of course a spray bottle. I do have some patina brass ink here by Jacquard. Um, we might use it, we might not. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to try this out first because remember this is playtime, this is experimenting. Um, I don't even know what this is going to look like when I'm all done. So this is the first piece I did and I thought, oh my gosh, i got to show you guys how to do this. It was just so much fun to play with. And <clears throat> this is the paper I used, the Mixed Media Paper by Canson. So you're going to take them apart. Of course, I tore the sheets off. And with this one here, I started out just daubing colors on and it worked out okay. Um, and then I dripped it back and forth, and I'll show you that in, in a different one, a different part of this. So let's get started with these first. So I went in and just dabbed the color in there. So this is the red, okay. Then I used the orange. And these are so fun. I never thought that uh, bingo daubers would be this fun. <laughs> and yellow. It has a little green in it from the last time I used it. So try to get that color out if you can. And I do mix them in a little bit. So it's really cool. Okay, go back in here. I'm going to wet this in a minute and see what happens. Okay, let's get the purple on there. All right, now I'm going to spray it with some water. And uh, it's going to turn pretty cool. So I just went like this, just kind of messed around with it a little bit, tipped it here and there. And this dries so beautifully. It's, it's uh, very shimmery. And then I use this to spread it around. And see, even now it's turning a little different than what I had the first time. So I don't know what's going to happen when this is all done. Look at the colors. Look how they just kind of shine into each other. I'm going to actually carve a little bit into the paper with the edging here and see what happens. Because you don't know what it's going to look like until it's done. And this paper can handle all of this. Okay, so now... I have a little design on here. Then I'm going to flip it and just push it in. Now this is a paper, uh, this is the, um, what is it, the catering paper or ta tablecloths. So there's plastic lining underneath. And go back there, <laughs> my son, he's got a great laugh. <laughs> then I scraped it again. And you're just pushing all of this around. Look, it's going into there, into the um, grooves that I just cut in. And I like it just like that. That's really cool. So when this dries, you actually have both sides, right? You've got this side to look at and this side to look at. This is not as pretty, of course. There you go. And I just kept flip-flopping. So like this one, I just kept flip-flopping it back and forth. Okay, so next what I want to do is here. 
This time I'm going to do some writing on it. So let's do a little bit of fun stuff on here. Let's say, oh, let's see. This is super, can't write, super fun. Let's see, happiness. You want to have good words, right? Happiness, um, love, doing this, anything that comes to mind. Um, uh, what else? Listen. Oops, that's not a, that's an L. <laughs> Who cares? Um, let's see. Laughter. Since I have all of my, my two men in the house, it's fun listening to them, having the laughter and giggling, giggles. Okay. Men are silly. I usually call them silly boys, so maybe I'll put silly boys. Okay, and do a little bit more mark making. Just to change it up a little bit, okay? So this ought to be interesting. So let's see what happens next. I got all of it on there. I'm gonna spray a little bit. And I'm going <laughs> to just kind of move this around. Put it into the paper. I'm just pushing it into the paper. Flip it over. Come back here. And now I'm going to do some dabbing. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to just do some little squiggles. In this case, I'm just going to go random. I don't really care where I put my colors. It's, there's no order to this. Okay. Let's see what we get. I'll do a little purple down here. Maybe a teeny bit up there. Okay. Wet it down, of course. And then do the same, spread it around. kind of cool. We could probably let this dry even like this, but um, I don't know. Flip it back around. Yeah, it's not as pretty as the first one, but like I said, this is playtime. And you know when you're doing this anyways, it's paper. Um, you don't know what the end effect is going to be when you're just going to use this anyways. You're going to tear it up, scratch it up, have a little fun with it, and uh, just use it for parts of your collage work, right? So this ink is not, um, it's very light and airy. I kind of like it better now. I've toned it down. It adds a little more depth to it. Let me see if I can get some of this in there. I'm going to try it. So let's get our patina or our, um, pinata ink. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shake it up. And I'm just going to put some in here and see what happens. So I have a little um, what are these things called? My brain's kind of gone blank. Um, pipette. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. So let me put the pipette up there. It's kind of going in its own direction. It does its own thing. I have a cool little airbrush. Let me try that. So this is my little portable airbrush. Let's see what I can do. So 
So this ink dries really quick. See, all of that's dry already over here. But my ink is not dry. Hmm. It's a little different. I kind of like the little tiny splatters in here, so maybe I'll do a little differently with the how I put this on. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I like that. That's a lot better. Look at that now. See that? I like the little spots better. You don't have to have a tool like this. You can actually just use a straw if you wanted to. But I do like that. Get a little closer. I'm hoping it's focusing. Let me see if I can flip it and what it'll do. Remember, this is all play. Oh, kind of adds a little texture in there. Looks like it spread some of that out, maybe. That's cool. I like that. Okay. And I could probably even go in there if I wanted with a, a darker brown or something, or even a black, and see if I could smear that around. But I'm... I like the the walnut ink instead. It's not too heavy. Okay, so those are two of them, and I wanted to show you one more. This one is not as um, what I did was I wet it here and just had it drip down, and it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. But I also did not wet the paper first, so maybe. I'm going to do it this way and see if we can get these colors to drip down a little better. So I'm going to just daub it on here. Because this stuff is actually pretty thick for being a, an ink. It's pretty thick. I'm trying to get some of the other color out of there. So there's my orange. So far, I'm liking it. Get that yellow. I really love this yellow. It's such a bright, vibrant yellow. Okay, two more colors. Maybe I should have spread them out a little bit more. I got lots of paper. There we go. Okay, ready for this? That's not bad. It, see, the ink doesn't um, quite spread well. You almost have to thin this out if you're going to do this by dropping it on here. To thin the ink out before you even put it on here. Oops, now I got brown <laughs> on my fingerprints on here. Good thing I have enough room on the sides, huh? It's really pretty though. Okay, so let's see if we can do this again, right? There's plenty of ink in this. Ooh. So you know this does not interfere well or interact well with uh, water. It's more of a ink base or a alcohol based. So it's still 
has a really nice effect. I'm going to flip it, see what I get. You don't have to flip it, you can leave it. But what I like about flipping it and dipping it on this is you still get, you get pick, uh, the texture of the paper. This is actually really pretty. It's turned out better than I thought it would. So here you go. Here are the three. There's one, two, and it's getting close to being dry already. And the back side, it's pretty cool. And this one's the first one, so that makes three prints. So now you've got something of your own to play with and to tear up and do whatever you want with them. And, of course, here's the original one I had. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. And I forgot to mention one thing. Check this out here. This is very thin paper, but when this dries, I bet this will be super cool too. So I'm going to just tap some of this on there, get rid of that extra ink that's in here in my little pipette. And uh, that'll be fun to tear up too. <laughs> Always think of what you can tear up. Okay, my friends, here we go. The end results. Super cool. So check it out. It's really, really nice. And I like the weight of this paper. It can be easily torn. Look at that. Perfect for making collage work. Here's this one. Then we have this one. This, I don't know. It's got some big pieces. Maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe... You can tear that up in different pieces or use this as a whole background. It'd be kind of cool too. I really like this one a lot. Oh, and look at the back sides, how they dried. Really pretty. Look at this one. I love it. So even if you don't want to use the front side of it, there's this beautiful back side. And this one's pretty cool too. It's got the lines of my wood here and there which makes it even better and here's the paper this is the tablecloth paper <laughs> look at that it's really fun it's just so and it tears very easily this would be great on doing some collage work it doesn't take much at all to tear it look how pretty that is so there's a lot of things you can do with this right Look how pretty that one turned out. I just love it. All this extra stuff, this can go. You don't need all this. But you got all of this. And this. So, think of that. Maybe the next time you do some kind of work, um, playing with, with um, inks and all that, use this paper tablecloths. I got these at uh, Sam's Club. Let me get a pack so you can see it. And uh, I got them right here. <laughs> see, tablecloth, tablecloth covers. White. And they're huge. So you can use, you know, two or three of these. Um, well, maybe more than that, actually. You can make a lot with this. And it's got its own texture in there too. So use that as your background or as your um, work, work surface. And now you have something else to play with, right? Something else to create with. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial um, or playtime. It's not really even a tutorial, it's just playtime. Yeah.